Hey there, this is Dawn from Mars Marketing, and I'm back with another tutorial for you today that is going to make your life so much easier and allow you to book even more clients with even less effort. So super duper on all uh, on all sides, right? So what we are looking at here is Acuity Scheduling. Acuity actually was recently acquired by Squarespace. So if you already have a Squarespace account, my understanding is that it comes with it for free. If not, you can get, uh, there are a couple different ones. Let's just take a look at them before we dive into the tutorial so you know you know what your pricing options are. Um, for those of you who are brand new, if you don't already know, Acuity gives you the ability to let clients and potential clients book right on your calendar online. So you don't have to actually do this back and forth stuff that we used to do back in the day. Hey, how's Tuesday at 2 p.m.? You don't have to do any of that. You just send them a link and they can book. It will sync with your Google or your Outlook calendar. Um, or your Apple iCal. So lots of options there to make sure that it doesn't impact your, uh, you know, your scheduling. So you can see here, we've got a couple of different options. You've got the emerging, which you can pay annually. If you pay monthly, it's a little more expensive, 15 bucks a month growing, which is what I would recommend if you're going to do that because it comes with text message reminders. That's the first level that comes with text messages, which is crucial. It's going to really improve your show up rate. So 25 bucks a month for that, or if you pay annually, $23 a month. Um, I've used Acuity for a really long time and it was an absolute game changer. It was one of the not first to market. There was one that I used before. I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the like OG calendar systems and it works incredibly well, specifically if you are a coach, consultant, if you are a service-based business, they even do, um, if you do like group coaching or if you have group classes, they can do that too. But for today's tutorial, what I'm going to show you is how you can use it for your sales calls, because if you can get more people to book with you, this way, right? It's going to make your life a whole lot easier than having to do this whole back and forth hunting for people. Just give, just put a link, you know, you can do like a video presentation, put your link out there and say, look at, if you loved what you saw here, go ahead and book a call. Bada boom, bada bing. They're on your calendar. You, you pick up the phone, you call them when you're supposed to, or you get on zoom when you're supposed to, and you close the sale, hopefully. Right? So what you can do is the first thing you're going to want to do is sync it with your other calendars because you don't want to end up with scheduling conflicts. So you can click in here, you can see these are the other calendars that you can work with. You've got, uh, I've got my Google Calendar synced up here, uh, a dummy account actually. And then I've got iCloud, Outlook Exchange, Outlook Office. Uh, yeah, so I've got the Google Calendar. I'm not going to go through all that syncing stuff. It really is super simple. When you click onto it, you're going to say connect to iCloud. You're going to put in your username and password. It's going to sync. All right, so easy breezy. Now, what you're going to want to do, this seems a little bit counterintuitive, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to grab your intake form questions. Now, I have this on another page and realize now that I'm not recording that particular page. So I'm going to go down here and you can see I've got a whole bunch of different intake forms, which can then be used with your different appointment types. So what you're going to do is you're going to set something up um, with the name of whatever your call is. So mine for my six figure sales funnels program was a six figure sales funnels breakthrough call. And we can take a look at that one. I'll show you what it has on here. Um, and I'm actually going to give you a PDF or a document um, somewhere around here on this page. You'll be able to grab it. That's going to have a whole list of questions that you can ask because one of the best things you can do is pre-qualify people. Let them pre-qualify themselves through this form so that you don't end up talking to the wrong people, right? Like if you you have questions that you want to ask ahead of time so that you know that you're getting on the phone with the right people or on zoom with the right people. And also it gives them a chance to share a little bit about their business or their life with you, depending on the type of coaching you do. It gives them a chance to share a little bit about that with you so that when you get on the call, you're already prepared. You already know what their problems are. You already know what kind of a solution they're looking for. So it makes it a lot easier to tailor your offer to what their needs are. Okay, so you can see that I've got a whole bunch of different form questions on here and down the side, I've got all of these different types of events that I've got, right? So this is where I'm gonna wanna show it. So you can see that this one's already showing on my six figure sales funnels breakthrough call, my six figure expert funnel uh, breakthrough call and my reload automation breakthrough call. So I had a bunch of different types of calls that I was doing at that time and I was using the same form for it. So it makes it really convenient um, particularly if you have different programs that you want to sell, but you they're similar, so you can ask the same questions. Now to create new um, new fields, you would just grab whatever you need here. So if I had a yes or no choice, I could just bring it down here and drop it, right? And it's going to drop down to the bottom here, and I can say,
whatever, right? This is not quite what I'd be going through for here, but I would say required and then save question and form. I would typically make all of my um, all of my questions required. You can see here that if they have the little star next to them, they are required for some reason. I didn't have this one set like that, but I don't want to be talking to people that didn't go ahead and finish up their form, right? Like I want them to take the time to tell me a little bit about their business. If they're not willing to do that, they're probably not a good prospect to get on the phone with. That's just in my humble opinion. Okay, so you're gonna take those form questions. You can see what I've got in here. I'm providing you with another, like a PDF, or a, I don't know what, <laughs> what format I'm providing it in. It'll be a PDF or a, um, some kind of download that you can grab so that you got some ideas of things that you can ask for here to pre-qualify people. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do before you <laughs> create your appointment types is set your availability. And by doing this, you will ensure that you are not going to have people book at a time that you are going to not be available. So what you're going to do is you can come in here, you're going to add your new calendar. I've already got a calendar added. I'm going to click on availability. And then what you're going to do is just go in here and put your business hours. So if you work from like 8 a.m. to 1, uh, let's say 4 p.m., you can put that in here and see it's going to automatically put the formatting. I didn't have to be um, crazy with my formatting. Also, if you take a lunch break, let's say you work from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., you just put that in there and it's going to format that. It's going to know what to do there. So you put that in and make sure that you have the dates like don't enter an av availability if you're not available on Saturdays. I'm technically not available on Monday, so I'm going to leave that empty so it's just going to show up as closed which means when people go to book it's not going to show those days i think that all makes sense right okay so that's all you have to do here is just make sure that you've set your availability you can also block off time you can click here and that's going to allow you to block off certain times so like let's say you wanted to block off uh new year's eve or new year's day whatever you could say block off multiple days and i would say i'm not going to be available from the 30th of december through uh January 4th, let's just say, and I could block off that time. And I'm not going to block off that time because I'm, well, I'm not even really using this calendar right now. <laughs> I have been using a different calendar system, but this one is still the one that I would recommend unless you're moving over to that separate system. If you want more information on that, you can. It's an all-in-one system. Um, I like having all my stuff in one place, but if you don't, then Acuity is my absolute top favorite for that. Okay, so now we've set our availability. We've got our intake form questions. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your appointment types. And you are gonna see, I have a lot of different appointment types. I've used the I've used Acuity extensively for many years. And so you can see, I've got all kinds of stuff here. Now you've got a new type of group class. This is like, typically it would be a paid class, but we're talking about a new type of service. So you would click in here and you would say, this is gonna be your, I'm gonna call it demo breakthrough. And you can put a longer description in here. This is gonna show on the page when people are scheduling. And then you can show a message after scheduling. So let's just say, uh, let's, let's get you that breakthrough you deserve. And we're gonna make the call a duration of 30 minutes. You can set that to whatever you need. Um, typically a sales call would be 35 to 45 minutes in my world, but that is completely up to you. I'm going to set the price as zero because this is um, a free consultation in this case. If you want to charge for that, that is also your prerogative. You can create categories in here if you want to just by clicking create a new category and then you can set it to color code so that's going to show up on your calendar now i would mark this as private because i don't want people to just be able to find this anywhere i want to put it in very strategic locations um, particularly after if you're doing some kind of um presentation or a pitch video you'd want to have it there so that those people who have seen that video like this very specific this very specific target human who already knows what you do is booking an appointment that means they're pre-qualified and all that good stuff so then you can create that appointment type now you'll notice over on the side here we've got forms so what we could do here is view all forms which we don't want to do that um, i'm going to click save the appointment type first so let's create that appointment type and now what we can do is go back to the forms go to your intake forms and we want to go to
Okay, so I must not have saved it. So anyways, you're going to see the one that you just created here. And I'm going to go to my six figure sales funnels breakthrough call, call. I guess I was actually working in that one. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go and find the demo that I just created demo breakthrough call. And now that's going to show up on that particular that particular appointment type. Okay, so we've successfully saved this form and we've got it now on our demo breakthrough call. All good. So now we're going to go back to our appointment. No, we're going to go to a scheduling page link and we're going to look for the new one that we've created. So I can actually start typing demo and it's going to bring it up here. You can scroll through if you want to as well, but I'm going to say demo breakthrough call. You'll notice too on this page that you have the ability to change your scheduling link name. So mine is marsmarketing.as.me. So you can put your brand link in here, which makes things look a lot better. As you can see down here, um, we've got marsmarketingas.me forward slash appointment type equals, right? I'm going to customize that link and I'm going to type my custom link as breakthrough. And you can also include dashes if you want to. My recommendation is that you keep that as short as possible, making it easy, like it, it just looks better. And also it's easier for people if they have to type it. Typically they're going to be clicking it, but short is better. So I'm going to click on save and now I can click on this link. And this is literally the page that was created um, earlier in when you're first setting up your account, they're going to ask you to upload a logo. So that's where this is pulling in from. But that's all part of your onboarding process when you first get started with Acuity. So now people have the ability to literally book themselves into your calendar and they're going to see this lovely form right here that they're going to fill out before they can even complete the appointment. And then it's going to confirm it. It's going to add it to their calendar. It's going to add it to your calendar. There's going to be no calendar conflicts because it's all integrated. So this is something that I would absolutely recommend if you are a coach, if you're a consultant and you aren't currently taking in clients this way, if you're not currently booking calls, this is the bread and butter of business, right? Is actually speaking to people and the more streamlined and easy you can make that for yourself and for your potential clients, the easier and more streamlined your business is going to be, the easier it is to make money, which is at the end of the day, what we're trying to do, right? So hopefully you found this helpful. I'm, again, I'm gonna give you that list of questions that you can ask to pre-qualify people that I think is gonna be really helpful for you. Just go ahead, put those fields in, it's gonna make your life so much easier. Um, what's also cool too with Acuity is that when they schedule, it passes all of the information from the questionnaire right onto your calendar. So you, you actually will be able to read through their application easily right on your calendar booking. So if you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, share, do all of that, all of the good stuff that, that you do for these kind of videos. And I will see you in the next tutorial.